then yeah, let's jump right into the next session. Good morning, everybody. I'm welcoming you to this presentation, how traditional games can create bioregional identities. And it's a pleasure for me to represent Green Steps today. So who are we? Uh, Green Steps is an international startup at the intersection of education and IT. And we believe that a deep, playful connection with nature reduces consumption and strengthens the respect for Mother Earth. We are experts in outdoor education and we use information technology as a tool for social and environmental good. Green Steps was founded in 2017 in Shanghai, a city with 27 million inhabitants, where we lived since many years. We felt the need to instill environmental awareness into urban residents and save children from a spreading nature deficit disorder. Ever since then, our mission is connecting you with nature. And in 2019, we registered a non-profit organization in Europe to link our efforts in China with the people of our home countries. 21st century solutions are global, not local. And our main mission is to accelerate the impact of environmental education and empower environmental educators. Within Green Steps, we are constantly trying to develop new methods to increase the respect for the planet and our understanding and our res responsibility for it. What I'm presenting you today is a bilingual memory game to discover the birds of Shanghai and the Yangtze River Delta called Flying Friends. People ask us why we are trying to reinvent the wheel. There are already many uh, hundreds, even thousands of publications about wildlife games on the market. However, we think that these publications and games have nothing to do with the immediate ecosystems we live in. They offer either an encyclopedic overview or a selection of species you will rarely encounter in our neighborhoods or hometowns. So to make you better understand what I am talking about today, I have a little introduction video for you, uh, which I want to show you right now. Um, can you see the video working? Yes, uh, we can see it and we can hear the audio. So okay. all that. Then enjoy. Fun Friends is a memory game that uh, makes you learn about Birds in the local ecosystem in Fungi. Well, we have here a set of counts. Um, each set consists of 24 counts, and I need to pair uh, identical counts. Shanghai is uh, one of the largest metropolitan areas on the planet. Um, the lingua franca for foreigners is English, so it is uh, quite logical that we have uh, those two languages here in this game. But it can be exchanged. You know, my hometown is, is, is Vienna. It would make a lot of sense to have the same game here in German and Hungarian, for example, because you will encounter the same species in both language areas. Birds cross the political borders. So you have basically the same bird living in two, three, or even more countries. We have in this game languages of people that areas where we encounter those. We also give away with the game we call an ID card. We have uh, the names of the birds and the pictures. It only really makes sense to really experience the birds in our domain. So we, we collaborated with a um, local birder and um, very, very professional. 
this is the probability uh, tremendously the children will memorize the dead. Yeah. Yeah. Good. After giving you an impression and an overview of what I'm going to present to you right now, let's jump into the three main concept pillars of Flying Friends. First of all, the ecological concept. Nature knows no borders. So we work with the concept of geographical territories um, of bioregions. Bioregionalism is a political cultural and ecological system or set of views based on naturally defined areas called bioregions, similar to ecoregions. Bioregions are characterized by a specific landscape, landscape form, soil, climate, flora and fauna, um, hydrological properties such as watersheds. Bioregionalism stresses that the determination of a bioregion is also a cultural phenomenon and emphasizes the local population knowledge and solutions. And I have here now two maps for you. The, map we have, the maps we have in our minds are like the left one, a result of the 19th century European nationalism. For at least 200 years, we were taught to look at the world by thinking of such maps. But I believe this needs to change. We need to find a new way, way to define space. And this space has to be of a human scale where we can physically and personally relate to. And there the concept of the bioregions comes in. So the second map you can see here is our world map in bioregions or ecoregions. And I, you can also try out and play around with this map yourself. Later, uh, after the presentation, I will share a link with you. And this map is um, designed by, was designed by scientists who collected all the data about ecoregions. And it offers uh, a deposition of the 80, 846 ecoregions which are represented on our planet. Yeah. And the second concept of our game is the educational concept. We use part of the Montessori method, the so-called nomenclature and definition cards, which have been proven to promote the entry of the learning content into the long-term memory. Nomenclature cards are a proven method to explain and retain the vocabulary for entire concepts such as birds, mammals, or insects. The game also support, uh, supports this process by applying another Montessori method called the three period lesson, which consists out of the presentation of a concept such as birds, its multisensorial exploration in nature, and the repetition of the experience in form of logbooks, creative works, or games like Flying Friends. And last but not least, our third concept is the linguistic concept. Flying friends um, can be set up bilingually to make the vocabulary accessible in cross-border bioregions. For example, German, Hungarian, or Chinese, and Thai. And allows children of different nationalities to participate in the same game. So why are we doing all this? We believe that if you don't know the name of things, the knowledge of them is lost. And this problem is getting worse and worse. So our solution is a playful uh, creation of bioregional identities. We believe that this is key to a solution to a climate crisis. Bioregions are a natural stepping stone to perceive the earth as a gig gigantic ecosystem. And bioregional identities, however, are not created um, with a map or with Google Earth, 
but only through physical and multisensorial engagement with nature. And our game should be the door opener to this. So who is our target audience? This game, um, Flying Friends, applies the mystery effect and ties deeply into the reward system of our brains. Children have a natural curiosity and want to know what they find on the back of the card. Especially younger children have a hard time waiting and they want to turn all the card over at once. So learning to wait and to do things in a structured and sequential order is an important lesson and a habit that helps to navigate life better. This game helps children to read and remember small parts of the natural world. Flying Friends is a pairing game and children are asked to pair identical photos and supplementary names in two different languages. Pairing is a basic skill for later scientific work. Players build their identical, partial and complementary pairing skills, which are required for many tasks in different careers, such as biology, archaeology, physiology and many more. What is the idea novelty behind this game? I've already talked about it a little bit in the beginning. Um, and we came to the conclusion that bioregional games do not exist. We analyzed a dozen of memory games, but we found time and again that these games do not create bioregional identities. So our USP is created from the three concept pillars I described just before, the ecological concept, the educational concept, and the linguistic concept. And our game idea potentially encompasses the enti entire biodiversity of birds on our planet, but breaks it down into bioregions. This practically means that in the course of the game design, we collaborate with birding experts of a certain bioregion, Example given in the Yangtze River Delta, we collaborated with a birder and photographer to identify which birds exist in this bioregion and based on the frequency and the probability of encountering these birds, we made a selection to group the memory card sets. So what's next now? The concept of flying friends can be applied in every bioregion. In Austria, for example, we have several national, park, uh, national park parks in border regions, sharing the same bioregion with the neighbor countries. These locations would be ideal to apply our three concepts through that game. So we welcome all interested organizations and individuals to get in touch with us to implement the concept of flying friends for their bioregion. And at the end, I want to thank the creators of the game. Um, they uh, invested many, many hours of work uh, in the final product. So the idea and the pedagogical concept was designed by Knut Wimberger. The visual design um, was made by Anna Rigilo, and our birding expert and photographer is Kai Klug. So a big thank you to those three people who made this project possible. Yeah, and now I'm at the end of my presentation and I'm stopping the screen sharing now. And um, yeah, I'm happy to get some questions. And I also brought the game and the manual. So this is how it looks like. This is. A5, and this is the ID card for the um, 20 birds you're most likely to encounter in the Yangtze River Delta. And you can actually just take this card, go outside, go kayaking, and really, you will really like there is almost a 100% chance that you find at least like three or four of these birds in a half an hour kayak ride. And yeah, so this is the booklet where you have like detailed information, description to all the, the birds, and then this is the game. Yeah, that's how it looks like.
All right. Uh, thank you, Godron, very much for this uh, beautiful presentation of the game. It's really interesting. I would like to have a game like that for, for Europe as well. Uh, it's always nice to recognize the birds that are around you. Um, well, our team already has uh, some questions for you. <laughs> so the first one is, uh, why did you start in China of all the countries? Uh, because Green Steps was founded in China in 2017. So this was the first place where we started our activities. And I think why China because and why Shanghai, it is the place where nature, where nature connection is the most is probably to find nature connection is the most difficult on the planet, but it is it is um, urgently needed, especially for children. And I think, yeah, just out of this urgent need, um, the founders of Green Steps felt they founded Green Steps. And yeah, then designing such a game was just a natural um, a, um, yeah, step, step in, in the project. Um, but I've also noticed that the cards are in English and the booklet is also in English. Um, maybe I'm mistaken. The, the booklet is in English, um, but also available in Chinese. And the game itself is bilingual, um, Chinese and English. And it is also that that's how you have to pair it. So it is the same bird, and then you have the English and the Chinese. And that's actually because uh, in Shanghai, um, of course, uh, Chinese is, is the, the official language, but English is almost as important as Chinese in Shanghai. And there are also a lot of experts and foreigners. And so it's almost like, like uh, it's like a melting pot. So you need both languages and um, it's good if you, you actually can, can ca call the bird with both languages. I see. Okay, thank you. Um, and we also have two more questions in the question and answer from the audience. So first one is from Camila, and she's asking, do you plan to create other games? Um, other games than memory games or to have uh, just apply the same concept with maybe other um, species or in other uh, regions. So other games than memory games, um, we don't have a concrete project yet, but we are constantly thinking about this. And of course we have ideas, but it's not, not a concrete um, pro product or project yet. But to apply the concept of this memory game of such a simple game for other species or for other regions, we are definitely uh, working on that. And we, we actually really looking for partners because we are not, experts so we are a few people now also working in Europe and we return to our home countries but we are not birders or we are not zoologists and no not national park rangers rangers so we don't know the local uh, environment and um, if we find people who want to collaborate with us we would really like to do this yeah uh, I think you already have a first partner because we have in the chat uh, Dr. Mahesh Sandvir from uh, from India, and he's asking how can we do the same thing in Mumbai, India. So I think he's your first partner for India. Perfect. Yeah, then we should definitely get in touch. Um, and uh, I will also share my email address with you in the chat later. And yeah, please if if you have. The data, if you have uh, a selection of such a thing, we are, we are really happy to, because it was a lot of work to set up this concept and, and if we can now really multiplicate it in other places, this is, this is really the, um, the idea behind, behind this. Yeah, great. Uh, beautiful. I'm really enjoying how these beautiful cooperations are, are being created. And sure, share your um, email in the chat and then, uh, or, or you can also email 
uh, Dr. Samsgiri and uh, hopefully other people are also going to be interested in this. Um, okay, so let's see if we have any more questions now. Ah, yeah, and I can share with you now the link to the Ecovision map because I think this is something, uh, at least I find it very, very interesting. So I will just share sure, it in, in the chat. And uh, yeah, it, it lets you see the world from a bit of a different perspective. So, so here is the link. And then I'm also sharing my email address. Yeah. All right, um, it looks like we don't have any more questions. So I think that's it for now, um, unless you have anything else to add. No, I'm, um, yeah, I'm just happy if people get in touch with us and I'm really thankful for this platform to have the opportunity to present our project. And yeah, I'm looking forward to a few more inspiring uh, presentations and talks in the Wilderness Week. And it's really cool what you're organizing here, uh, the European Wilderness Society team. And yeah, I'm really appreciating this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gudrun. It was very nice to have you here.